In this lesson, we will cover delegable and non-delegable functions. So, a delegable function is a function which which operates on the server. For example, if it is SharePoint, if it is querying a SharePoint list, if it is doing some filtering on the SharePoint list, then the, if a function is delegable, it will run it on the SharePoint. A non-delegable function will run in the environment of Power Apps. So, the <coughs> non-delegable functions, they have a limit. We can set it from here. So first we'll make a new app. Create. We close this. Then we'll create and we'll start from SharePoint. We have this list which has about, uh, I don't know, maybe around 200, 250 records, something like that. So we will use this in our demo. This list has an ID out this SharePoint ID title SharePoint title name prefix first name middle name initial and last name. So we'll start from the data. Uh, this is the uh, SharePoint list. It is lists. This list we will create long list L L L long list connect. Okay, so everything works fine here. No issues, no problem. We'll go in the settings and the item limit. We'll change it to 50 and wait some time. Okay. We will run this again. <coughs> no issues at all. Why? because the gallery it is filtering uh, this data long list and based on this criteria starts with the title it starts with this text box so we'll change this to first name okay now First name, uh, well, Jenny, J E N I. What is this? Search. Oh, no, didn't mean to go there. J E N I. Oh, I have to display the first name. So give me some space here. Uh, instead of ID, we'll display the first name. Okay, let's run. So, Miss Jenny, she showed up here. Now, the last record. Anne Murray. That's one full name. Huh? Eight eight seven four four seven eight eight six and so no issues at all on the limit. Make sense? Okay. Now we will change this query instead of start with. We will change it to search. So this. We will change to search. Long list. Long list text. Uh, input one. Text no text search box one. 
dot text and we have to search for first name so it's saying search may not work because now it is doing the search based on this so search long list comma first name we forgot to close this bracket and then we are bringing the we are sorting by title okay title is fine sorting by title and this is the sort order so this may is saying it may not work so let's run <coughs> so 50 <coughs> item limit This is everyone, and uh, so we will uh, save the app. Delegation delegable functions. Okay. So after saving the app, I waited some time for the settings to take place, then run it. Then Tangila, Tangila, hopefully she's Tangila. It doesn't show up here. We can try with the upper case to be confident. It doesn't show. Let's go up. Jenny. Jenny shows up because she's in the 50. 50 limit. Let's try 49. Marcel. Yeah, shows up. Then let's try Delon. D I Delon shows up. Some things are missing. Claire. So it stops here. There is a chance that few items. Are here or is something like in the other Ah, Sammy. So Sammy is fifty one. It will not show because the settings is 50 and this function is a non-delegable function. That's why it is giving warning here. This is non-delegable function. The previous one, the default from the SharePoint, which was the uh, equal to uh, st starts with the start with starts with formula that is delegable, so it was fine. And this, it's returning data only up to fifty records. That's it for delegable, non-delegable.